Hey data fans, Reed here. Today, I'm super excited to be featuring Alina Fisher, who will be showing us a solution to a very common problem, which is not being able to choose the alignment for values when using a single card visual. Now, I know this has been a major pain point for myself, and I'm sure for many of you as well. So let's go ahead, hop into Power BI, and get started. Hey guys, Reed here. I'm here today with Alina Fisher, and I'm actually really excited to have a guest spot for her today. And we're going to talk about some pretty cool things and some tricks in Power BI. I've actually come across Alina um, quite a few times now on LinkedIn, where she's written some uh, pretty awesome articles on various things and kind of tips, tricks, and hacks that, uh, similar to me, um, show a lot of unique and interesting ways to spin up Power BI. Uh, she currently works as a business intelligence developer over at Allegis, and um, yeah, it has started to create a lot of really cool um, content and we're going to have her show a uh, pretty interesting trick and technique here today uh, with us in Power BI Desktop. Uh, Lena, can you give a little bit of uh, other uh, background about yourself? Sure. So um, actually my original background is engineering and I really loved it. But, you know, life happens and I got into the data and uh, BI. And I cannot be more happy. This has been super awesome. I really love awesome. everything I do. And um, yeah, I'm pretty excited that we invited me over here. This is like, this is my <laughs> first time with the camera. So um, I might be nervous. I have water, I have wine, everything, you know, just to make sure Perfect. it goes smoothly. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see the trick. Awesome. So yeah, we're going to go ahead, you know, and uh, roll it in with this. We're going to have a lot of fun, and let's just go ahead and flip over to the demo and show people this. Uh, yeah, I, I would say a pretty cool technique on um, um, card formatting and alignment. So let's uh, hop into it. <clears throat> yeah. So Alina, we were having some conversations, um, and you know, the the idea for this kind of came about with the, the fact that the single value card, super useful, um, is used in almost every single report. But one of the biggest problems for it, um, and I'll have you speak more to this, is the fact that it always is middle and center. There's no top, left, or bottom, um, or any alignment that you can change it. And that can certainly be an issue. I know I've had a significant number of clients who've come to me and asked for fixes to that, and I don't always have an answer for them. So you know, th this was a really great you know, out-of-the-box solution when it comes to fixing a, a common pain point. So you know, maybe if we want to kind of walk through the, you know, the problem that we have in front of us, you, know, you can expand that out a little bit, and then go and show the, some of the, the solutions that we ended up developing together. Sure. So yeah, um, kind of the whole story but behind it is, you know, the same probably for everyone. We needed mm -hmm. to show long text and then we needed to align it. And then this long text changes, right? So maybe the refresh happened and now it's shorter text or something. And it's really hard to align it perfectly. And this is how we have it on the screen here, right? Like I'm going to just show through a couple of different situations, right? When you have, let's say, long text right it's right in the middle it's hard to align it to anything for example in my report i had some kind of label next to it and i was trying to let it align it next to the label and of course that didn't happen also with the value right value is super hard to try and align again like companies want to know like that one big number that they're looking at and it has to be pretty it has to be right you know looking at their face and it's super hard to align it and you know make it like Let's, let's be honest, left aligned most of the times. Um, but yeah, um, also as an example, we're going to show a date. You know how month names change from the short mm -hmm. ones like May or June to like December ones that are super long. But again, like this kind of like a couple of different situations, um, you know, made me think what is going to be, you know, how we can work around it. Because Power BI is a cool tool where you can actually work around the problems. So, okay, let's check out the solution. Perfect. And here it is. As you can see now, you have all these cool options. You can left align, you can center align, you can you know, do right alignment. Mm -hmm. You can also do top, bottom, or even in the middle. So, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's absolutely, it looks like a card and it smells like a card, but you know, the, the, the fun fact is like the visuals that we have in front of us aren't actually single card visuals. It looks and operates identical to it, but there was a, a little bit of back and forth conversation that we had around ways to do this with a few different objects. And what's, you know, what did we end up settling on for this one? What, uh, what type of visual are we actually using? So what do you, should, what do you usually say? Post it in the comments below, right? <laughs> <laughs> what do you right. think it is? Yeah. But, okay. It's not going to be that long until you know. <laughs> um, so actually, that is the button 
which is super surprisingly, but um, opened up the visual screen too. If I can, you know, thank you. There you, you go. Yep. <laughs> thank you. Um, if I can get to it. So yeah, and it is just the button, uh, mm -hmm. nothing else. But with all these cool, you know, possibilities for conditional formatting that Power BI introduced, uh, we can actually specify uh, what goes into the button text. And this opens up for, you know, designing or moving mm -hmm. the text or value. And there are a lot of uh, different options. We can do vertical, we can do middle, we can do, as I mentioned, bottom. I mean, I don't mm -hmm. have to repeat them all, but they're all here. We can do horizontal alignment any way we want. And yeah, we just need to put here the value that we're trying to show. And the only thing to keep in mind over here is that what's important in those text fields that allow conditional formatting is that they only accept text values. So yep, absolutely. just something to keep in mind. But again, I'm going to show the measure in a second. I just wanted to show that, yep, it does work with the date. It does work with the value. The trick over here is going to be to put them inside of the measure and um, format it within the measure. Once you do the formatting within the yep. measure, it actually changes the value. Like it always returns text, this format. Exactly. And I'll, I'll speak a little bit to this where, you know, for the demonstration purposes, there's a couple of things that are just being switched around. But as long as your measure always returns a text output, that's what's needed to include it either in the the title of, a, of an object, which you can use conditional formatting for, or in this case, the body of the button, the, you know, the actual text that we can top, middle, and um, bottom align, left and right, and all that. Uh, it just requires text to be fed to it. So we can return a number as long as that number has been wrapped in a format which converts dates, numbers, true or false, any of that to just uh, text output. So that's the one trick is you just can't put a raw number in there. It has to be formatted. I will say that the times that I've done this, it does not have any performance impact. You know, the, the measure itself to calculate the number takes all takes the most of the the lifting. By the time you wrap it in a format, it's an inconsequential amount of any additional processing time. So, besides the small cost of needing to write one additional measure, it's very easy to just you know create a you know sales amount text secondary measure um, next to it. You know, rather than having to you know, or I would say like has that one small downside, but it's really not that much effort. Exactly. So yeah, here you have it. You can do whatever kind of alignment you want mm -hmm. on a single card. Pretty awesome. Yeah, and it's it's a very easy, simple solution. Um, isn't something that will break. Uh, and it, it looks and operates identical to a single value card. Um, sometime, someday in the future, it'll be great if they add those formatting options. But for now, we have a native visual, which is one of the really important parts. This is something, you know, or I would say a native object that's a part of Power BI that now allows users to, you know, decide kind of what placement they want for any of the values in there. So I'm, I'm very happy that you, uh, you came to me with this idea and we were able to, you know, to flesh it out a bit. And we ended up with a, a very, I would say, easy to use solution once you know, just to create a measure, apply that as, uh, as the button text, and then uh, basically render this result. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think you said everything that I could have said to, I mean, not in that way, you know. Sure. I mean, and, and one thing I, I would just like to say is, you know, I, I I love this idea. I've loved some of your other you know posts that you've done. Uh, the oh, and and remind me again, what was the what was that very first post from the fall that like that was um, you, you did that that we ended up you know I think connected on originally. It, it was a really cool post that did some like you've done a lot of dynamic things, and I'm I'm trying to recall what this what that like first post was that I came across of yours. Oh, that was uh, for transparent color. Yes, the tra can... yeah. Yeah, how you can alternate visuals conditionally using the transparent color. Yeah, so so there's going to be that. Uh, I'm actually going to put that one down in the description. I didn't know you could use transparent colors in Power BI until I saw a post of hers that showed that using the um, uh, some measures to uh, to supply that you can actually turn things completely transparent. It was a really really cool trick. So um, that will also be in the description in the video as well. We are, for this though we've um, covered you know, the the basics of it. It's not a particularly complex trick, but it's going to certainly be useful for any clients who need to have that alignment. Alina, is there anything else you want to say, or anything, any like ways that you would want people to get a hold of you? You know, in general, if they want to reach out for further questions or anything else. Two things. First, sure, sure add me on LinkedIn. That's like the only one um, profile I actually have. Which you know, maybe in the future, I'm going to be working on my own website but I want to have it done by myself. 
So it's okay. going to take me like, you know, two or three years. So we're <laughs> not waiting to write articles in the meantime. I'm posting them on LinkedIn. Perfect. And the second thing is, I kind of feel like I'm, you know, not at the Oscar level, but kind of close. So I just want to thank, <laughs> thank you, Reed, for giving me the opportunity to talk, to show, and to share the idea. And yeah, honestly, I wanted, like that first article I wrote was, after listening to your webinar and I was like, wow, this is pretty cool. This is one of the, the most interesting webinars I've attended. And I just wanted, you know, to contribute to the community because I felt like, I just felt like it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, thank you. It was a pleasure. Thank yeah, you. absolutely. And um, thanks for being on and I'm looking forward to the next article you have as well. Thanks. <laughs> thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like, comment, or share this video. If this is your first time to my channel or you want to see more of these awesome videos, smash that subscribe and notification button. And last but not least, you can download the file for today's video from my blog piles page using the link down below.